Hi Aries, welcome to another love reading of yours. This is for my Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in love. It is a general reading guys, so this may or may not resonate with every Aries watching this video. Time is fluid, as you know, you could have dealt with this energy or you'll be dealing with in the near future. Some of the energies of the cards here can be flipped, so feel free to switch those energies or vice versa. And if you do need a personal reading, all that information is going to be down below. All right. Overall energy, we have Eight of Cups, walking away. Someone's walking away from a situation. What I'm getting here is that there could be one person here who could have been holding on to a person for a very long time. They were very possessive, they were very attached to this person and they were just not letting go. They gave in and gave in and gave in to this relationship to a point of exhaustion and ultimately they realized that they were in a connection with a person which was no longer making them happy or the connection was no longer making them happy and that's when the person's walked away. Whoever the person is here, this person could be wanting a commitment, okay? And because of a lack of commitment or because they're dealing with a commitment phobe or whatever, right? Someone's walked away. It is in your emotions, in your head, what's going on in your mind. Sorry, not this is your logic. And the chair is the chariot here. You feel it's logically the best is to walk away. With the eight of cups and the chariot here. And yes, Aries, with the chariot here, I feel you're heading into the right direction, okay? You could have already broken up with this person, separation, whatever, right? You've left this person out in the cold. And yes, with the chariot here, you're very determined, very focused to move forward. You want to move forward. You want to overcome all the obstacles. And I am getting more like, you know what? I've had it. This is it. I don't see the queen of swords or anyone here. But I'm getting a more like, you know what, like... If it's not working out, seriously, that's fine. Let it go. The person you're dealing with is the Five of Pentacles in reverse. So this person wants to come back to you. This person, this is a very codependent relationship, Aries. I usually say this a lot. This is someone till you're there, they feed off your energy. Not in a bad way. They feed off your energy as in they want you, they need you. You emotionally satisfy them. Your your energy is, you know, you're always vibrating at a higher, at a higher level. This person... You're very, this person's very happy when they're around you and um, they slowly started developing a dependent relationship with you, okay, where it's you. When they need you, they come to you, they take what they want and they leave. Does not, I'm not talking about physical pleasure, okay, I'm talking about energetic level, I'm talking about emotions, I'm talking about emotional happiness, fulfillment, whatever, chilling, hanging out, whatever, right, but this person felt a very good companionship with you okay they looked at you as a very good companion but probably when this person it, when it came to having teamwork with you that's when this person copped out now they want to return back to you all right i think this person really feels miss, they're missing out and uh, they want to come back to you this person wants to return back to you come out of the cold um in your emotions like I said, you're releasing this person, okay? Again, four of pentacles reverse, you're detaching. Even if you're not physically releasing this person, I'm getting you're detaching from this person, okay? Because again, you're walking away, you've had it, right? You're like, no more. It's not serving you holding on to this connection, which is just not fulfilling you. And now they want to come in with the three of pentacles. Now they want to work with you, okay? They want to build with you. They want to create. They want to collaborate. They want teamwork. This is more like, let's build, let's talk, okay? Let's start from scratch, but I'm keen it. The mutual energy with the lovers here, you both feel the connection. You both know this is a strong strength flame connection, a strong connection, okay? And you both feel it, for sure. But it's just that I'm seeing that Aries, you are choosing to walk away because you could have given this person a lot of time, you could have invested a lot for this person to reach to a certain level, okay? Um, to give you this commitment, okay? Which is anyways coming in with the likely outcome with a higher print here. But again, as you see with the Eight of Cups, right? You need to temporarily cut cords or you need to emotionally walk away if you want to walk towards your Ten of Cups, all right? And I think that's what you're walking towards, Aries. This temporary disconnection, this temporary walking away is very, very important in order for you to make this other person realize what is your worth and value and what it takes to make a relationship work out. Your attitude with the Knight of Wands here, right? I think you're very passionate about this person, okay? Or it's almost like, you know what? I'm feeling more with the Knight of Wands here. I'm feeling you rushing out. 
out. I don't say you're rushing towards this person. I think it's almost like, you know what, you're going to live in the moment. You're no more crying over spilled milk. You're not going to live in the past. You're not going to worry, thinking about what's going to happen in the future. You're no more worried about what's going to happen if you let this person go or if you put up healthy boundaries. I just feel you're going to live in the moment. You're going to do what makes you happy. You're going to be in the moment is what I'm hearing. Okay, today, am I happy today? Yes, all right, and that's what I'm going to do. Now this person wants a renewal and love. Their attitude towards you is now they want to open up, they want to be emotionally vulnerable, and they want a second chance with you. All right, let's see. Why is the Eight of Cups here? As the overall energy for Aries. Why is this the current situation? Why is the Eight of Cups as the current situation? See? Queen of Cups in reverse, you've shut down yourself completely, you're suppressing your emotions, you're not wanting to let this person know how much you feel for them or how much you love them, okay? You're choosing to walk away, you're choosing to keep quiet, you're choosing not to give your energies, not to be compassionate anymore. I think you're being a little selfish in a good way and now you're trying to see what makes you happy, you're going to do what makes you happy, you're making yourself a priority this time. By walking away, which is the right thing to do, honestly, Aries. Again, I'm seeing this as Aries and this is the person that you're dealing with. Feel free to flip the sides, all right? Yeah, but you could have been very, very hurt, okay? This is someone who's very, very sad, very hurt because they could, they had a lot of unconditional love. Someone had a lot of unconditional love and when it wasn't reciprocated or when it was taken granted for, that's when the person walked away. All right, why is the chariot here for Aries? Why is this on Aries's mind? Ace of Swords. You have clarity about a situation. You have clarity about a situation. What is the Ace of Swords? What is the Ace of Swords? What is the Ace of Swords? <laughs> there's been some truth that has been illuminated. There's been some truth that you've been aware of, or there's been some cultural communication, or there's just been some breakthrough in communication. Okay, whatever, right? You are very clear, whatever information you needed, right? That information is there, and that information is something that is making you walk away. And that's, you're standing by your truth. You're very determined to walk away, Aries. I don't think you're going to even stop, even if this person tries to stop you. You're like, fuck no, I'm out. All right, you're very bitter too with the Queen of Cups in reverse. You're angry, you're very pissed off and hurt is what I'm getting. You're deeply hurt. You don't want to walk away, but you just know you have to because that is the truth. It's almost like an aha moment, like a realization that this is what you need to do. All right. All right. Try for the Five of Pentacles in reverse. losing their shit they're losing their patience this person is not ready to cooperate not ready to compromise they're not um, um this is someone who's being very impatient i think because they're not getting a response from you or you're just walking away they can literally watch you move on and it's driving them nuts why is the temples in reverse here something's thrown them completely off guard okay i don't think they were expecting you to do this i think you cut this person out and you walked away Clap at the temperance in reverse. Now they want to give, now they want this equal give and take with the six of pentacles. They want to balance out this situation, okay? They, uh, they really want to give into this situation and uh, if this was a one-sided situation like I felt it in the, uh, in the beginning, they've realized their mistake is what I'm getting. And now they cannot wait to come in towards you with this ace of cups and with this three of pentacles. That's their attitude towards you. They want to give in. They want a renewal in love. It's like, you know what? I've got to make up for it. Now they want to give you what you deserve. Okay? That's what's on their mind. They want to give you what you deserve. They cannot bear the entire scenario of you walking away. They can't stand it. It's like, oh, wait, 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 wait. We'll make it out. We'll, we'll, we'll uh, work things out. You know, like, don't go, don't go, don't go. Like, I'm losing my mind. Don't go. Uh, why is the four of pentacles in reverse here? You're 
isolating yourself. I think you're into that contemplation mode, okay? Of whether you should release this person or not, or probably you've already released this person and I think you need a time out. I need, I, I think you're taking a time out. I think you're, you're wanting to be alone for some time and you just want to do a lot of thinking about what went wrong or what's really going on in your situation. This is someone very wise because I think you're making the right decision. Um, you know, a lot of people, when they walk out, right, they have two ways. Uh, either they go in and they jump into another relationship just to get over it or they try to do, you know, like they try to do uh, a lot of things which is not right, like um, probably having a rebound, whatever, right? I mean, that doesn't really solve the issue. It's a very temporary solution, right? But with the helmet here, I think you're, the good thing you're doing is you're releasing yourself and um, you're doing a lot of thinking, okay? The helmet is a very good energy. It's not about taking action. You're not taking action, but again, you're going within yourself, a lot of soul searching, a lot of self-introspection about what's really going on in your situation. I really like that. Why is the helmet here? Five of Pentacles. I think, yes, you are feeling left out in the cold too, okay? You're missing this person a lot, okay? But I think for you, you think the best decision for you right now at the current moment in your emotions, you feel it's best to detach from themself, from this person and just think about where the situation is going and what really went wrong or what really happened and you're working, wanting to work on yourself, okay? This is a lot of wanting to go within yourself and trying to find the answers of what, where, when, how, why whilst this person is completely losing their shit, okay? They're not taking it very well. With the Five of Pentacles again, I feel you, you're, you're feeling the heat, you're missing this person, right? But I think you're doing, it's almost like you gotta do what you gotta do, right? Why is this Three of Pentacles here? Can I find the Three of Pentacles? Four of Swords in reverse. They're completely restless about this, okay? They're reaching that boiling point. They're reaching that point of exhaustion. They want to come out of this uh, time out and they want to talk to you. They want to communicate with you, okay? But I think you've shut them down. Why is the Four of Swords in reverse here? See? Ace of Cups again and again. I, I mean, I can't get this twice, right? This person is wanting to open up to you. If they were not vulnerable in the past, they wanted to be vulnerable. If they were not open emotionally in the past, they want to be open emotionally, okay? But they want a second chance. They want a renewal and love and they're like very determined on it, okay? Because not only is it in their attitude, but it's also in their emotions, okay? The good thing is in their logic, on their mind also that they want this equal give and take, okay? They're realizing what they did, they messed up. They want to come back to you okay they want to return to you if this person has taken a time out from you then they want to come back okay but there's a lot of coming back they want to come back to you you know like a lot of returning energy all right can i have the lovers can i have the lovers seven of pentacles in reverse so there is a lot of love here like i said before right but with the seven of pentacles in reverse i feel that aries you are feeling like this is a long-term investment which was just a huge waste of time it was a connection which was a big fat disappointment according to you okay so yeah you feel the connection you feel the soul tie but for you it's like you know what i tried my best to make it work out but if it doesn't work out that's fine no regrets just lesson learns lesson to learn and move on i think that's how you're looking at it that's the mutual energy but i think it, it, it's it's probably it's more you because you both feel this connection but there's one person here who's just giving up just no more wanting to wait. Someone who's losing patience. Why is the Knight of Wands here? Why is the Knight of Wands here? Why the Knight of Wands? See, I told you, Page of Wands in reverse. You are in no mode of communicating with this person. Knight of Wands and Page of Wands in reverse. You have no interest and no... Um, no, um, it's like you don't want to, you have no wish to communicate with this person anymore, okay? Because you've completely lost the interest and passion within this person. There's a lack of chemistry here. You're lacking the mojo, okay? You need to reignite. The spark needs to be reignited between you guys, but you're not feeling it right now. You're not even sure if you want to communicate with this person right now. Why is the page of wands in reverse? Again, I think you want to do your own thing. You're not really wanting to pursue. You're not even looking at this person right now. Why the Knight of Why the Page of Wands in reverse? Why is the Page of Wands in reverse? Why is the Page of Wands in reverse? Because 
no matter what you do, this relationship according to you and this relationship is just not reaching that point of stability and security according to you. No matter what you do, okay? And now it's like, you know what? You've lost the interest. You don't want to pursue this anymore. You're just not taking action towards this person and you're just wanting to do something absolutely new or you're just wanting to follow your passions, okay? You want to go ahead and follow something that uh, makes you happy or something that, you know, you're passionate about. Could be a new person or just could be a new uh, hobby, interest, whatever, right? But you're trying to occupy yourself. But I think, you know what, Aries? I like the way that you're... Um, I like the way that you're taking your steps away from this person, okay? It's not very drastic. It's not very emotional, okay? Yes, you walk away, but it's more of like an understanding, okay? I think you've, you're giving that yourself that understanding, that assurance, like, it's okay, girl, Aries. It's going to be okay. I'm going to focus on what makes me happy. I'm going to think about what went wrong. I'm going to think about where I went wrong. I, I really like the way you're taking this entire relationship to the, I mean, you know, you're, you're just, you know, easing yourself out okay you're not going bad shit crazy like this person that you're dealing with but yeah for you it's like if i'm not getting the entire package i'm not less i'm not settling for less okay you're not settling for anything lesser than a commitment or lesser than the ten of pentacles here and if it's not coming you're okay with it you're moving on very happily all right can i have the ace of cups here where's the ace of cups here can I have the ace of cups King of Swords in reverse. So this person, all right, yeah, this person could be very cold, very harsh, very cold-hearted, very, very um, icy and detached, okay? But I think they're just trying to fool you, okay? Because that's just that's just their attitude towards you, okay? Just to try and show you, oh, I don't need you, etc. I'm okay on my own. I'm good on my own. But with the Ace of Cups here, this person's just making a big fool out of you, okay? They're making a big fool out of you. That's just an attitude that they're showing, but their emotions and their logic, just because, I mean, I'm here, right? They're just trying to build up a show. This person could be sound very egoistic, okay? Why is the king of swords in reverse? Do I have the king of swords in reverse? Give me one card. Why is the king of swords in reverse? But I think they're being detached because I don't think they think that you want to take a risk with them. Two ways. Either this person is being cold and detached and they're not communicating with you properly or they're trying to manipulate you in a way. Um, they want this with you. They want this renewal and love with you. Okay, but with the fool in reverse here, I'm getting this person is not sure if you want to take a risk with them or this person has trust issues with you. I think they're not sure if you're going to be able to get, if, if you're going to give them a second chance or not. Okay, that's one of the reasons why they don't want to take a risk. It's like, I don't want to be a fool to be a fool, you know? But the King of Swords in reverse, that's just a show. That's just a show. That's just their attitude towards you. But because it's like, oh yeah, like, I mean, it's a lot of ego, you know? Like, like seriously. Yeah, but I'm really feeling that this person is being so cold that if they don't want to be a fool or this person doesn't want to show you how badly they need you or how badly they want you or whatever mistake they screwed up, they messed up, they're sorry, right? Because I don't see them coming in and apologizing to you. It's like, yeah, I want it all, but well, I'm not going to make the first move or, you know, like I'm going to still maintain that attitude. Like, yeah, I was still right, you know? The King of Swords in reverse to me is someone, you know, who thinks he's being very logical, but actually he's not. He's just being very harsh. And yes, yeah, so this person thinks they're very taking a very logical approach by not rushing into something, but actually they're just being very harsh. They have their own trust issues, they have issues with themselves, or they just don't know if you want to take the leap of faith with them again after messing things up. <laughs> All right, clarify the clarify the hierophant here as the likely outcome. Clarify the hierophant as the likely outcome. Knight of Cups in reverse. Okay, so I feel that, you know what? I think you're going to be very focused on your work, Aries, okay? And I think you're very spiritually guided with the Hierophant and the Knight of Cups in reverse here. I feel you're very spiritually guided to not be vulnerable and not to be emotional towards this person, not to express yourself emotionally. 
this is a very spiritual it's almost like you know when your, your guides are asking you whatever you're doing right that's why it's happening so smoothly okay your guides are asking you to do this in order for you to realize that this person needs to learn their lessons or you've learned your lessons with the hierophant here okay the hierophant is also learning a lot of lessons being spiritual all right so i feel that you're learning your lessons here with the likely outcome and with the knight of cups in reverse here i think you're no more longer wanting to be vulnerable to this person you're shutting yourself off emotionally to this person i don't think you want to open up to this person no matter how much the love is there right this person needs to learn their lessons okay you've learned your lesson uh, but this person needs to learn the lessons, right? But with the Knight of Cups in reverse here, I feel you're just completely, from commitment, you're going to non-commitment, okay? It's like someone's going from commitment to non-commitment. You once had a lot of love for this person, you really wanted this commitment desperately, but now you've completely flipped. You, you, you're pulling like a 180 on that, okay? So that's what I have for you, Aries. I hope this reading resonates with you. Leave your comments below, like, share, subscribe. That'd be really cool. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.